Let me give you a little tour of the 94 Geo Metro. Here it is. It's got 223,447 miles. Idling at about 800 RPMs. Got a double din stereo right there. It's a cheap uh, $40 dual brand uh, radio, but it does the job. Little phone right there yes sir got all my stuff in here right now this is my cooler with snacks and whatnot this is what the original seat pattern was this is the one I reupholstered with This one came out nice and tight, a little loose right here. I could have added a more, bit more padding here, but the bottom one came out really loose for some reason. Like, but I guess uh, I, I used the uh, old fabric as a template, which probably was a little stretched out, and I'm sure, sure the, 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 the cushion probably shrunk a little bit, you know, in the past almost 30 years. Got all those dings and dents right here because sometimes the seat belt. See, it's hanging a little low and it catches right there and it dents all this up. So if you ever see a car that has all this dented up, it's probably because of the seatbelt. Got a uh, back seat right there. Good view of that. Back seat's not bad, it just needs some cleaning. Open the trunk here. I need to replace some labor, the, the decals here. This rug right here, I'm gonna replace. It's so bad, it's not even worth cleaning. I'm just gonna end up replacing it entirely. Here's a jack and whatnot. I'm gonna convert the uh, battery terminal to use these along with these because those make for a way better condition than the ones that you just clamped on on the bare wires those corrode and go to crap after a while yes sir sir just random stuff here goes the uh front wheel bearings that i was going to do around the same time i was going to do the uh transmission i did the right one but i didn't go didn't get around to doing the left one so it, this still sounded fine. Here's the uh, third brake light that I fixed when I originally got this. The third brake light was hanging down by, off the wire. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that. All those stuff. That's me. Uh, plastic welding with a regular soldering iron. They do sell plastic welder attachments that look like a little mini clothes iron, but yeah. So. That's it right there. Let me uh, pop the hood. Walk around, pop the hood real quick. Got this right here. I need to replace that logo. Right there, it's just faded, but I'll do that once this thing gets a paint job. There goes the engine. Oh, the hood's a little hot. Three cylinders, one liter. Ow, ow. One second here. Oh man, 
I had to stop recording because that hood was so hot I was trying to burn my hands. I had to go and put the prop rod up which that in itself is hot as heck. But yeah, you see right there, I got the AC going. So three cylinder, as you saw earlier, it was 223,000 miles, almost at 400, almost at 224,000. Got the uh, tech wire coming off of right here. That's the that's the tech uh, tachometer. I have to fix this. I have to buy a replacement relay. I currently got an aftermarket relay running through there. This is just a wiring issue with the other side. That's supposed to be the ground. Yeah, it's not grounding down. It's not grounding. It has something to do with the ECM, but I have to. I have to get the factory service manual because the uh, Schultz and Hayes ones don't have the same wiring as this stuff. This has the advanced emission system in it, which is not on the Haynes manual. That has slightly different wiring from the Haynes manual setup, from the regular emissions. Yeah, it's on the regular emissions uh, setup, that fuel injection, fuel injection relay, it, uh, it just goes that one, Part, it just goes straight to ground but on the advanced emission system it's a uh, blue and black wire that goes to the ECM the ECM is what sends it to ground so yeah there it is